I suppose I should have talked through that, but that was just all so cool. Hello everyone, I'm Ryozo Tsujimoto, producer on the Monster Hunter series. That's not the voice I'm associated here today with to bring you the latest info on not Monster lie, Hunter dude. Rise and Monster Hunter Stories 2 Wings of Ruin. Your grandfather, Red, was a fine, upstanding rider. Nergigante. Master Hunter Stories 2. I never played the first one. You see, this is why I get mad when people go like, Come on, man, give the new Pokemon game All a chance. All riders have to strike out on their own someday. Kana can guide you. Use the experience to learn what you're capable of. And what you must do as a rider. This will put you out of commission. Come with me, please. I just know this Rathalos will help us once it hatches. Off we go! Does they sound like a voice actor? Little palico. Let's go. That kinship stone. Right. Some even say it was such a monster that laid waste to the village that once stood on this site. I've never seen anything like this. So you're saying that inside this egg... Little Rathalos baby. Goddamn, little Rathalos baby is not the cutest thing in the world. Should this Rathalos hatch and awaken to its destructive power, you will be to blame for what happens. Are you prepared to take that risk? Rathalos aren't monsters to worship, or to make bonds with. Don't you get it? They're nothing but dangerous pests. Don't back down, buddy! Keep them safe in body. Rathalos! There is nothing. I'll tell you what, color me intrigued. I will definitely get this. It has connectivity to uh, Monster Hunter Rise, though, right? Cool up. Let's see. Yeah! Holy crap. Yeah, no, that's, um. I don't need Pokemon anymore. Oh, here you go. <laughs> Raise wing, Rathalos. Ooh! Development continues on Monster Hunter Stories 2 Wings of Ruin as we prepare for its July 9th, 2021 release. Yay! We oh, here we go. I'm very excited for this game. I'm excited for it. Ooh! It's that. Oh shit, it's an ogre? It's a big old thing that knocked over there. Oh yeah, that just looks stressful to fight, it's an ogre. Isn't it an elder this dragon? Is gonna be good. It's like a god, right? Like it's not an animal that's gonna be most of this game. A huge pack of monsters in a giant stampede. Oh my god. They attack the that village little, like, in a frenzy. Paint, painting range. version of a. Uh, Nobody knows why this happens. Tetradon is close so to wiping out our village last time. Gosferag is so fucking cool. Rathnikadaki is also cool and terrifying. Oh, pretty. Oh, Tetranodon finally gets one. Ooh, Agnesong's greatsword looks cool. You are 
are what I call a true hero. Oh, thank you. Seeing you face the calamity has given us so much hope. These faces are really good for a Switch game. Don't take Rush this Oh, cool, we get shotguns out of that. Take this! Let's have some fun! Super happy from his face. Have a taste of this! Ah, oh, yes, the mud. The scary thing about that. Fear my strength! Rappelos. Or the rope. Oh good, you can nuke them. That, that makes that scene just a little less stressful. Oh, kick its ass in over. This one's all for you! <laughs> it's an ogre armor set. Huh? What's that? Terrifying is what it is. Yeah. I can't stream it that day, but oh boy, am I gonna play it. Even fly through the air. You can also run along high high walls until you run. We just did it to adjust the quality. See, wire bug. We begin here. First, let's talk about the wire bug, which brings a variety of new actions to Monster Hunter Rise. It provides some Throwing helpful ways to explore each locale more freely. For instance, by using the wire dash to move around quickly and even fly through the air. You can also run along high walls until you run out of stamina. Each of the 14 weapon types has its own unique set of attacks using the wire bug called silk bind attacks. You can also use the wire fall feature to dodge after taking damage. Oh, cool. The wire bug adds a lot of mobility to your moveset like this. Now I'd like to talk about switch skills, a completely new feature to expand your hunter's moveset. Okay, what are switch skills? As you progress in the game, you'll unlock the ability to switch out certain regular attacks and silk bind attacks at will. To create your own hunting style. Okay. Of charge cell. The, the full game damage. will have additional silk bind attacks that weren't in the demo, so please look forward to that. That's also good. And then there's Wyvern Riding, a new feature that lets you bind monsters and control them. It's quite exciting to face off against a dangerous monster and then just hop on its back to wreak havoc. That it is. Oh, you buddies. This game has a new type of buddy to assist you during your hunts, called the Palamute. You can ride on its back and it will attack monsters as well. Of course, the Palicos are back too to provide various kinds of support. In single player, you can bring any combination of two buddies with you. But in multiplayer, each hunter can only bring one buddy along. So you'll have to choose between a Palico or a Palamute. Yeah, Palamute. I, I've, I've seen the usefulness for both. You're choosing mobility over like one. There are longer. five distinctive locales in this game. Shrine Ruins. Flooded Forest. Damn, I like the Flooded Forest. Frost Islands. This looks pretty okay to me. I don't really care much for it. Sandy Plains. This also looks pimp. Pretty pimp. Lava Caverns. That looks awesome. Each locale has its own unique characteristics. This game also introduces new forms of endemic life that increase your hunter's stats or otherwise help out during your hunts. Make sure you search every nook and cranny for these creatures. You might find something unexpected. Monstore. Each locale has new monsters with their own unique ecologies. Omidron. I do like Alumadron. Rakna Kadaki. 
The Wandering Widow. I do like this one too. It's scary though. This big old spider that spits fire at you. Gus Harang. He's a badass. I would get, like, fuck, I would get anything. I would get a toy from the Gus Harang. I get an amiibo of Gus Harang. Bishitan. I think he'll be fun to fight. I have, like, no opinion on him, really. Somnicamp. I do like this Somnicamp. Tetronodon. I have the punching bag of the game so far. Sumo Duck. Agnesom. Agnesom also seems pretty cool. It's like, I think it's also one of the few bird wyverns that feels like a bird. Great Izuchi. The Trinity. Yeah. He's easy. That's not really much of a threat right there. And of course, Monster Hunter Rise's flagship monster, Magnamalo. Big old scary tiger with a human nose. It's also known as the Wyvern of Malice, an extremely aggressive fang wyvern that pursues its prey relentlessly. If he's gonna hunt us. Of course, many fan favorite monsters also make their return. We already announced Rajang, Kezu, do you like Kezu, and Rathalos previously. But today we showed off Narga Kuga and Zenogar as well. <laughs> That looks stressful to fight, it's an ogre. Now, Mr. Ichinose, the director of the game, will tell you a bit more about the rampage. Nito, this feature that stresses me out. <laughs> fight four of them, but I can barely kill one of them. Hi everyone, I'm Yasunori Ichinose, the director on Monster Hunter Rise. It's good to be here again. The rampage is a quest type where you protect Kimura Village from hordes of monsters. You have to use hunting installations to repel them and keep the stronghold safe. The quest is complete when all of the hordes have been repelled or when the final major threat has been vanquished. You start off by using the prep time before the monster invasion to place your hunting installations. Okay. This is gonna be good. Make sure you place them efficiently. When the counter signal is activated, your hunter's attack will increase dramatically. So that's your sign to get up close and personal. Okay, well, they're at least giving you a buff to do this. That's, We're here that's to nice offer assistance. Your friends from Komoda Village will join as well and provide invaluable backup. Be nice to your townspeople. There are also extra powerful monsters that lead the horde, known as major threats and apexes. Do not let it pass! The goal is to defend the stronghold and repel the monsters. That's a big scary bear. Fight alongside the village's defenders and make sure no harm comes to the village. Diabolos. Quests in Monster Hunter Rise are divided into single player village quests and hub quests that can be played solo or in multiplayer. Mm. So story quests and Talk to the quests. respective quest maidens to take on the quest you like. In multiplayer, you can use an online connection or a local connection to assemble a group of up to four players in the same lobby. Mm. Any player in the same lobby can take on a quest from the quest board in the gathering hub. You can use shortcuts to join quests in the lobby, even if they're already underway. Hmm. Sorry, going on. Let's okay, I'll join them. There are four levels of difficulty depending on the number of players. And the difficulty will adapt on the fly as players join or leave. 
Okay, so the easier as people leave and harder as people join. If you're playing HubQuest solo, you can use join requests to match up with other players via online communication. That's really nice. Use this if you're having trouble completing hub quests on your own. Players can also add a Hunter Connect tag to match up with other players who have the same objectives or play style. You can create your own Hunter Connect or join one made by another player as long as you're invited. You can also invite other players yourself to any Hunter Connect you've joined. I guess I, I have really nothing to Furthermore, add. there's a like function more, but to make it I'm easier really to reconnect this. with people you've played with. When you complete a quest Big in multiplayer, snake, you can send about. likes to other players using the directional buttons before returning to the village. Oh cool, you tell them, hey, thank you. If two players <laughs> give a like to each other, they'll become mutual likes, making it easier to find each other's lobbies directly. Okay. Get Let's have a look at the somehow. camera feature, which allows you to take pictures on your hunts. You can zoom in and out and adjust the composition. The picture will display the name of the creature you photographed. That's you can cute. view your pictures on your Nintendo Switch console <laughs> or in the in-game album. If you want to take a selfie, this adorable little creature will help you out. <laughs> limited time demo that was made available in January will make its grand return on the date shown on screen. You should all play this demo. This time, we've added a challenging advanced quest where you get to take on the flagship monster, Magnamalo. Oh, man. I wish this I could stream this. This will give you a taste of what kind of monster it is. I wish I could stream me losing to this. For our final bit of news for today, have a look at the following trailer. Free title update. <laughs> Camellios. I have no idea what that is, but it, it has immediately endeared itself to me. Camellios is my boy. Okay. We are planning free updates for after the game's release. Free, okay, so, new Camellios. The first update will include several new monsters, such as Camellios, which we announced today. And several other new monsters. And more it monsters. It will also unlock your Hunter rank cap and add some related features. We will tell you about other updates at a later time. Okay, but monsters are free. There's gonna be like cosmetics you gotta pay for, but monsters are free. I like that. They look cute. We hope you enjoyed today's show. To reiterate, Monster Hunter Stories 2 Wings Better of Ruin Pokemon. is releasing on Friday, July 9th, 2021. And Monster Hunter Rise will be available on Friday, March 26th. So excited. Thanks for watching.